Hello guys, I'm going to be doing a YouTube video on the review of the Traxxas Rustler. This is the brushed edition, 35 miles of 55 kilometers per hour and up. It claims to be waterproof, and so far their claim seems to be correct because I have been washing it. I've washed it three times and almost drowned it, so it seems to be working. And it and here's our transmitter charger and battery pack. So I'm going to start off with the battery. Where did I put that battery? That is. Alright then, here is our battery. It is a nickel cadmium. Well this is for the brushed edition so yeah. A nickel cadmium. I'd say it runs it runs decent with the brushed motor so far. I mean like nothing's wrong with it. Nothing's really wrong with the nickel cadmium battery. I mean, like, well, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying about it. There's just nothing wrong with it, so it works pretty well with the motors. I'd say the only thing is whenever you're running it, be careful because it will overheat along with the motor, so that's why I'd recommend for a fan for the motor because you can't really put a fan on a battery. And also, you could put a fan on the ESC to help keep it cooled down. So, yeah. Move that out of the way, and then we'll go on to the charger. Here is our charger. Right here. Nickel Cadmium. Trexus 4 Amp. Here is the LED light. You can't tell that, but that says ready. Whenever, the, whenever this light is solid red, that means it's ready. So then, you take your battery... Plug it in right there, and then it will start charging. See? It just, right now it's just feeding off the power of, of this battery. It's just blinking, saying, hey, it's plugged in. But whenever it's blinking green, that means it's charging. Whenever it's solid green, that means it is full, fully charged. The so it's through a 6 cell. The only concern I have with this is that. You're only, you can only plug it into cars, so you're going to have to buy an adapter or buy a totally different charger. I haven't bought an adapter yet, but there, but I do just charge it off this one battery. Like, some, it's this giant, big, bulky battery you can just plug it into. Basically, it just charges while I charge this. So, that pretty much goes on with that. Now, let's run into our transmitter. Here it is. It's pretty de it's pretty decent, pretty good for for what it is. I mean, like I haven't found any problems with it aside from well, the trim can kind of decide to say, "Hey, I'm gonna run off," but I think that's just the car. But it has nice nice steering. It has a really good grip, so then you don't like your hands don't accidentally slip on anything. I mean, like I'm barely gripping it right now. And it's turning. Barely, I'm barely gripping it right there, and that's pretty good. It's foam, it's not rubber or anything. It requires four double A's. Here is our on off switch, so right now it's on. And it will also help you show that it's on, so in case you might have accidentally left it on, then that means you know it is on. So right now it's on. We have our trim right here. So, yeah, let me reset this trim right here real quick. Well, the steering's pretty good. Um, the only problem I've really ever had with it was whenever I was reversing, it just wouldn't really activate until I actually was all the way up at almost full throttle backwards, and then it would just unload on all that power. So that's the only thing problem I had. I had to like directly aim the controller at the car to make it go backwards, like at a proportion like this, and then it'll start going backwards if I barely move it. But yeah. I, fi I find no problems, although with throttle. Absolutely no problems. I find the range go decent. I find the range pretty good, so there's nothing bad about the range of it. Good. I mean, like, I have a really long street, and it works very well. It doesn't go all the way to the end, but it's still pretty good. And now time for the car it itself. I do not have the body on it, but, yeah. Here is our body right here. 
there's the rustler I just add it comes with stickers I added on this label right here and these two right here are actually stickers I add on they actually give you optional things to add on I'll show you that later on okay here is our rustler Move this charger out the way now as you see here oops, go ahead and zoom in real quick we have this now look let me get out my original bumper for this thing Right here is the original bumper that I had. It, it's not very good at all because I mean, like, it only came out about say this far. This one comes out all the way in front of the wheels. However, this one stayed behind the wheels, and it just wasn't very good. Because in case this thing were to ever run into anything, then that means you're gonna need a bumper. Do not buy aluminum ones. Buy plastic ones because aluminum ones do not bend as easily as plastic ones do. So, buy the plastic ones, it'll, it might not look as cool, but it'll still help you out in the long run. And if we, if we move on, let me show you some of the electronics here. You have, and a, you have your servo, receiver, ESC, and you have your brushed motor. Depended on which one you have, whichever one you have, brushed or brushless. Now, I've also added a wheelie bar. You're going to mostly need this for at least brushless, but I know, because I have a brushed, I am able to get it up into a wheelie in a certain way but that will help out a lot so then it doesn't like scrape scrape the end of your body up because I have scratched up a bit of the motor casing here like right here a bit and I've only had this thing for two days I mean like I love it because that's why I arrive it a lot I love it honestly I would recommend the Rustler because it is a very good and decent car we have our antenna here also by the way Leave in the comments below, whatever this thing is over here, I have no idea what this thing is. So, please leave in the comments on what that is right there. We have our battery compartment along with a piece of foam and still wet because I had to because I washed it, keep it clean. And that's pretty much it. Let's move on to these shocks real quick. There are actually spacers that range from here, I believe this right here is the smallest, to here. These spacers go on the shocks here. They go on the shocks to where you could fit it to, where, to your profile. So, real quick, I'm going to take off one of these things. They're kind of difficult because they're just hard to get off. Here we are. Here's one of them right here. It's just kind of a medium spacer. Here, that I have set up to mine. And how you put them on is you have to move the spring down a bit. And then you take your spacer, take your spacer, you slide it into that gap right there. I know you can't see that, but yeah, right now it's in the gap. You see that little plastic piece jutting out right there? That's it. And right now the suspension is fit to how I like it. So right now it is pretty good. I might need to make the front ones a bit stronger, but, yeah, I think they're fine. Well, that seems to be it for that, so let's go ahead and move to some of the stuff that is included. This is kind of a long review, but still. It comes with your tools. This is just part of the wheelie bar right, right here. It comes with your clips right here. These are spacers for the clips, just in case it doesn't fit. We have our tools for fixing up some stuff, like Allen wrenches, these kind of wrenches, and that for fixing up any of the bolts. And these are basically our other spacers, along with the, and some more clips. But one of these screws that I had to take, two, there's actually two screws in there that I had to take off for that wheelie bar. And put in some new ones, but other than that, looks like it's all covered, along with some extra pair of gears, it's just the stuff that came with the bumper, along with an extra set of gears. And that will help you out in the long run. So, that's pretty much it all of that. So, that is my Rustler. I'm going to plug it in real quick. Pretty simple process. All you have to do, put it in.
open your battery. There's actually a thing that goes across this to keep it out. But since I'm not really going to be riding it and driving it that much, I'm just going to plug this in. And then you've got a button on your ESC here. And you can turn it on. This thing is pretty strong, actually. So it, it does have the capacity to actually haul a trailer, but since I don't really want to do that, yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much it <coughs> on this. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this review, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.